Hi everyone, I am Alina Reis and this video is about helping people. I am going to share 10 ideas with you. We have made a very good list for you. Trust me, the list has some very good links. If you want to be helpful, if you want to help the people of your country, now is the time. Because I know many of you want to help, but you do not know how to do that. So let's get started with item number one. The first way you can help people is by gathering information about beds and hospitals. Trust me, we have done this at our home. So if there's somebody who's sick, you're aware of, just call them up arrange a bed for them. There are so many WhatsApp groups which are operating and there are so many links which are operating for specifically for this purpose. Join those groups, okay? Find out beds for people. We have done that. It has benefited people and this is how you can help. All you've got to do is make some phone calls. There are going to be at least eight to ten phone calls that, you're, that you will have to make in order to find one bed, okay? And probably more than that. So be ready to make those 10 phone calls to help a friend of yours in need. I'm going to share three links in the description box. One of the links is about COVID tweets. So it is a Twitter link that is going to give take, take you to a page. It's a very popular link right now. You probably may already be having it. I am also like we are also connected to the tweet page. It keeps updating you about the recent people from around the city. I think it's more about Delhi and NCR, but whatever, just join that group and just go and visit that page. You will find out that there are several people who keep posting about hospital beds and they verify and then post. So these are mostly verified links and they work. They work. They really did work for us. I actually could find two beds because of that link. Okay, so there is this COVID tweets link. Okay, then there is a link of a Reddit term. It is a Reddit thread and that link is also there. It has some valuable information about COVID and many people are posting their comments and connecting with each other to help each other. Okay, so it is uh, for Reddit and then there is one more link which is about COVID groups. It's a it's a telegram link. Okay, go and join that group. Go and join any group that suits you most. Okay, telegram. And there are thousands of people who are connected. I myself, I swear I have seen people getting ventilators through that link. I have seen people getting ECMO machines. ECMO is a type of machine. I just found out about it. I wasn't even aware that something like that exists in the world. So those machines and people, God knows what all is happening and very productive work is happening. So those three links are lying in the description. Go and use them. Point number two is donation of your blood. Now, plasma, I had included plasma in the list, but uh, then I found out just yesterday that uh, plasma is no more prescribed and they've uh, issued some guidelines that you're not supposed to use plasma anymore as a therapy. So plasma I've taken off my list, but blood donation is still there. I'm going to do that. I am still in the process of recovering and probably this week or so I'm going to do that. Trust me. You can help people with information about the food. Okay, there are many families who are suffering terribly because uh, everyone in the family is sick. Everyone is going through COVID and that happened in our family. And then we took the help of a Gurudwara very close to our place. And we also took help from ISKCON temple. So ISKCON also helped us and they are still providing us food. So first of all, uh, you can go and help these Gurudwaras. You can go and help ISKCON temple and whichever temple is providing the service. You can volunteer and do the volunteer work if you are willing to do that. Because of course, for that, you will have to step out of your home. So you've got to be very careful with your safety. But, but, but coming back, even if you're not going to step out, you can educate people about it. There are people who need help with food. Educate them, let them know about it, share the links with them, share the phone numbers with them. Another way you can really help people right now is with the help of oxygen. There are uh, new phone numbers which are being circulated every now and then. Call up those numbers, verify if actually oxygen is available or not because that is what we also did. Uh, there was just um, a few days ago we found out a phone number. The government is providing uh, free oxygen and uh, this is where you have to go. We actually went to the place and we found out if the lead was correct or not. And the lead was correct. We found police 
um, police over there we talk to the people we have found out about the requirements what all documents you have to submit okay and then they gave us the list and everything we came back and we circulated the information everywhere on whatsapp and uh, to people on the groups if you have some oxygen with you and you don't need it right now probably you're keeping it for future um, we even do donated an oxygen cylinder we did we, we don't have that oxygen cylinder anymore with us in fact we don't even know where it is so you can donate oxygen cylinders if you have something with you help people when you need it you take it back that is also something that you could do another thing that is so simple to do and yet very helpful is guiding people guide people with correct information you can guide them with their oximeter you can guide them with what oxygen level is all about if there is an elderly in your contact sit with them or probably don't sit with them just talk to them on the phone and let them know what is oximeter all about how to test your oxygen how to test your pulse when do you have to contact the doctor what are the symptoms educate people okay let them be let make them aware make them aware that is a great great way to help people now like i'll share an example with you um there was um, uh, an aunt there's an aunt of mine her oxygen was falling okay it was toppling down little by little and it was in 80s and she wasn't taking it seriously and when we she called us up and she told us that beta uh, oxygen kam ho rahi hai and then we asked the number it was at 84 and um, we were a little taken aback we said auntie what are you doing are you arranging a hospital or something she said uh, no beta uh, my child is sleeping and when he'll get up that is when we are going to look for it Nika, what are you doing then we started making phone calls and somehow uh, her husband could arrange a hospital before i mean we also arranged something but they found out a better option and she was admitted right that that very moment she was admitted imagine had she waited two hours with 84 as oxygen level what may have happened can you imagine the kind of catastrophe that might have fallen her head she wasn't aware so you have to make people aware sometimes they don't understand okay another thing is getting vaccinated get vaccinated as soon as you can and make people aware ask them to get vaccinated okay motivate them to get vaccinated because this is the best course of action right now how else can you help people you can help people by wearing your mask even if you had been posti uh, positive with covid and now you've recovered you can still be a carrier probably covid will not affect you because you've just recovered but you can still be a carrier for the disease you can still affect other people please wear your mask Please wear your um, gloves, please wear your face shields, please wear whatever safety measures you have at home, wear those. I'm sharing my own example with you. We are visiting hospital every day. We've bought our PPE kits. We are using the PPE kits. We are using um, gloves every single day. We are using the we are we are using double mask. Actually, my husband is using triple mask. He wears three masks, one top of the other, and we are also using the face shield. Okay. Now, next point is quite important. If you have extra money and you are in a position to donate do not stop yourself do not think too much of the future and do not stop yourself from donating some extra right now people really need you your people people who help you in your daily life like your your maid your tailor these people need money right now okay call up people any of your friends whom you think may need money call them up ask them if they need money okay this is something that you can actually do now you may be thinking phone karke kaun poochta hai poochte hain log log poochte hain people do that people actually call up other people and ask if you need money and if they need money transfer phir kama loge phir kama loge paisa wapas aa jayega okay you gonna earn it back right now our country needs us if you have extra money you have something extra please donate of course if you can otherwise it's all right there are several other ways you can help people then uh, there is also something going on with fundraising right now many people are helping uh, other people on websites like milap and keto so these two websites are pretty popular for uh, fundraising you can help people by um, donating funds online also i have participated and i'm only preaching what i've practiced another thing that you could do i think i already mentioned it but i'll mention it again 
please go through your contact list okay contact list of your phone check who are the people who may need help check on them provide them not just whatever support but emotional support provide them with emotional support emotional support helps a lot just let them know that you are there for them okay just call them up make them smile ask them if they are okay provide them with medical whatever medical guidance you can if financial support emotional support one last thing that i would say is that please inspire other people inspire other people to help others right now is the time not to be comfortable please be very uncomfortable if something is not happening inside your house or around you probably you're very lucky because most of us are suffering most of us we and suffering for long durations this disease takes a very long time for people to recover from okay so please inspire people share this video with people who you think can benefit from this video people who are looking for direction push them push them for volunteer work push them to be active on their phones not for instagram not for any other thing but for helping others for helping the country we really need to be together in this moment we really need to hold hands right now probably is the first time in my life when i am seeing that people are helping each other this much otherwise people look for help from government from this from that from various sources this time everyone is a frontline warrior everyone all of us are fighting all of us are helping each other i myself feel and i really have goosebumps saying this i really believe in what i'm saying right now probably i've never seen this kind of unity in our country before this is the best unity and this is the best kind of strength i've seen in india in my entire lifetime i'm so proud of my country i'm so proud of you people and i'm so proud of us all of us i'm very proud of the people of india the way the spirit people are showing for helping each other even in hospitals you know there are queues outside the icu where people are waiting to meet their uh, um patients yes some hospitals are allowing people are meeting their patients and when they meet their patients before that before that when they are standing in the queue in the hall when they are waiting for the doors to open people talk to each other they help each other and not just emotionally they actually give each other money they give each other food i mean new relations are being made outside the icu ward and this kind of unity i haven't seen before i'm so touched and i'm so proud of all of us keep doing the good work guys and if you're waiting to help don't wait because this is not for long this is going to get over so help while it is still going on okay because this is not going to go on for long and that's my heart's wish see you soon again bye